Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today to do a project called the Flipping Photo Block. Whoops, let me turn my sheep around the other way. This is a project that I saw on a YouTube video by Julie Finfay Bowser. I was smitten with the project and have spent the last two weeks fooling around with it. Made probably 30 videos and something went wrong in every one of them and ended up deleting them all and then deciding that that's it. Today has to be the last one or I'm going to be completely bald. And the only reason everything has gone wrong is because my attention span um, got the better of me and I looked away for a moment and forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Stop the camera to get the dog, let the dogs in and out, answer the phone, my husband walks in, you know, that kind of stuff. So today, hopefully, with husband gone, dog outside, <laughs> I'm going to get this done. All right, let me set my timer, and then we will get started. Hey, Google, cancel timer. Sure, consider it canceled. Hey, Google, set timer for 18 minutes. Okay, 18 minutes, and here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need eight one by one inch blocks. I am using these from Michaels. They came 16 blocks for $4.99 and the reason I'm using this is because before I could get to Michaels to buy these blocks, I bought the blocks from Dollar Tree that come nine to a box for a buck. They did not work as well as the uh, one by one square inch blocks because those blocks are not all the same size. And it makes it difficult to get the paper on the sides properly. And some of them sit up a little higher than the others. And it just did not go well. Although I didn't pick them apart. Well, this last time I did them. I did not pick them apart. I left them the way they are. Because, you know, they're just for me. But this one is for you guys. So I want to make sure that everything goes well. I've already tried recording this earlier. And I cut through the tape. Which is something I'm going to tell you not to do. I just didn't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, so in order for this to work, you need these blocks. And I'm going to show you how to do the blocks. All right, so you have your, you're going to have four sets of blocks. All right. And you need to use washi tape that you like, or you don't like, sorry, that you don't like that is very sticky because it's going to take a little bit of washi tape, especially if you cut through it and have to start over, you know, 30 or 40 times. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want it to, you don't want it to go over the edge of the block because your paper, it'll show like, you know, on the edge and you don't want it to. So you take it like this, then you turn it and you turn it again. Now what you're doing is you're essentially putting this on the bottom. Then you crack it open and if you look very carefully in between your blocks you will be able to see where the washi tape is on the opposite side and I'll show you what that means. So then you push them together to make sure they're very firm together put another piece of washi tape. What that does is that creates a hinge because you're going to be flipping these blocks in different directions so you need a hinge. So here is one side of the hinge and here is the other. I've already got these hinged because I'm trying to save time. All right, so after you got, you've got all your blocks hinged, you take two that point this way, and then you take your other set and you, for, you put your washi tape on the outside. So there's no washi tape here, none on either side, except for the outside here. You do the same thing with this one. You face the washi tape on the outside because what you're trying to do is eventually create another hinge. All right, so this is what it should look like. Washi tape on these two, nothing in here. And when you turn it sideways to look at it, see how you have one on the outside and the other one on the outside. So you take your blocks, you flip them over, and you're going to tape the four sets again just on the tops. And make sure your blocks are together. Eh, got a little too overzealous on my washi there. And these blocks are really sticky because I've only dug the patterns off of this like, you know, 10, 15 times. 
right, so these are together. Put there. Put this here. All right, and you should be able to open your blocks like that, right? So when you do this, you're looking for more places to put hinges so that you have the versatility of turning the block a million different ways. So this is how you do it. You take it so these are here. You open, open, turn, and open. And look, you find the opposites, the ones that have no tape on them. Push them together. And then you tape them again because these will create, again, more hinges because you've taped them on other places you can't see right now. And they will make hinges go in different directions. Make sure your washi tape is on there really well. You'll be sorry later when it's not. I can guarantee it. Lord knows I've made enough mistakes on these silly blocks. I'm determined to not be beaten by a silly block. At least today I'm determined. Yesterday I was defeated. <laughs> All right. So you're done taping. So what you should get is this. So that you can turn your blocks different directions. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right. So just imagine it with beautiful paper. So what you do is you take your block. And you can... The best way to do it is this way where your, your tape is going across because you have cuts that you're going to have to make in between the blocks. And the important part is you never cut over the tape because if you do, you ruin your hinge and you have to start all over and it is not pleasant. So these are the different cuts you're going to make. You're going to make a straight cut. You're going to make a cross or a plus sign. And this one is called a double H. Now, if you have a terrible attention span and forgetfulness like I do, uh, like I do, take something and when you're about to do a cut on a set of blocks, put something there to remind you what the cut's going to be when you do it. Otherwise, you'll move this and go, oh my God, I forgot. And your paper is covering it and then you won't, you'll mess it. Just please put a marker here. Take my word for it. All right, before you start you need paper. You need eight different patterns of paper because there's eight different surfaces you need to cover here. So because these are one inch by one inch square blocks, you'll need four that are two inches by two inches. Then you're going to need four pieces of paper, pattern paper, that are four inches by two inches. Now, if you don't use the Michael blocks, then you will need to measure your blocks to see um, what size you need for the, the small four and the large four, the rectangular size, okay? All right, so I already ran my paper through the Xyron machine, so I have four that are two by four inch patterns. And I have four that are two inch square. If you do not have a Xyron machine, one if you do not have one of these, don't go out and buy one. There's other ways to do this. I had to have the machine, so I went out and got it because I know I'm going to use it. And boy, have I ever. Um, so one, uh, two things you can use is you can use address labels, Avery address labels. And they make them, I think they make, big, huge ones for packages. You can use that on there. You will need to decorate your, your labels in some way so that when you cut it out, you will have a pattern. So you'll probably need to draw a pattern or do something on your label. And then, oh, cat. Bye-bye. And then you need to um, make sure that it will fit here. Then... Another one you can do is the, the sheets of 8.5 by 11 sticky paper. Again, you're going to need to cut it to size, but you need to put some kind of a decoration or something, stamp it or whatever. My advice to you, for those of you who do projects over and over and over because you forget what you're doing, stamp the whole sheet. Stamp eight sheets <laughs> because you're going to want to cut them up again. <laughs> you know you're going to want to do it over and over. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so let's get started. You're going to need something sharp like this kind of cutter, or you're going to need to use one of these X-Acto knives, anything like that so that you can cut in between the blocks right here. A box cutter's overkill. That's too dangerous. It's too large for what you're doing. Okay, you'll need a ruler, you know, so you can measure. And I think that's everything. So let's get started. So we're going to make the first cut. Never cut through the tape. Remember, if you do, it destroys your project. And believe you me, when you cut it the first time, you'll be like, oh, smack your forehead. She told me not to do that. So this cut will be going through here. Let me go down closer so that you can see it. That means I have to move it up a little more. All right, is it focusing? There we go. All right, so here we go. So I had this piece left over from the last project. Last 4,000 times I did this. Come on, come off. Cut this smaller and now I can't get it off. All right, so let's start with a different one because I don't want to pick that all day. All right, here's the first one. That is the two inch by two inch square paper. Get it down as close as you can to the block measurements that measure the block. Rub it on really well. Remember, we're going this, we're going this way with the cut. Let me back you out because that's just too close. All right, there. So I'm going this way. Because you have not put any other paper on it, you can turn this sideways and see where the middle is by the block on the other side. And your cut should go rather smoothly. All right, so there's this one. There's, sorry, there's this one. So what you need to do is you need to find the next place to cut because like I said there are three different cuts that one's really tight I think my paper's hanging off the edge there let me just trim it off a little bit you don't want to mismeasure your paper because you don't want to spend all your time making little teeny trims all right so you unfold your block to where you see a side that looks like this where it's the four pieces of tape and mine is up, mine is going up because my paper hung over a little bit on the inside. So you need to find the four like this. And you're going to need one of these. So this cut is going to be this one right here. Okay? You're going down this way and across. Do not cut through the tape. You will hate yourself. I'm going to peel this off. I hope my stuff lays down good enough, well enough, good enough, well enough. You put your paper on, kind of burnish it a little bit with your hands. And again, because you don't have any other paper on the other side, you can see where the middle is. And use a nice clean knife that has no sticky stuff on it. Otherwise, the sticky drags on the paper. It catches on it. It catches on the paper and go this way. And it ruins it. I know this because I've only done this, you know, 10,000 times. All right, so there's the first cut that way. All right, and again, because we have not covered up with a lot of paper, you can see where the block line is right here. And then, remember, we're doing this in half. You're only cutting where there's no tape. And there's no tape underneath the paper down the middle. And it should go well. Right? There you go. The tape is here and here, and we did not cut through the tape. So, you keep unfolding the blocks until you find other places that need to be cut. Okay, so we we can we I we I folded it into a different direction. See, we have this the first one. You open it up. We do the long one. 
then you open this up again and here is one another a new cut that you haven't done yet and that is the double H let me move this down so I don't get dumb and forget so this is the double H so this is how it gets cut you go here 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 and then the short middle never cut where there's tape you're gonna hate yourself later I'm telling you all right so let's see let's do this one so this is the two by four paper make sure you know what I don't want to do that green with that green I need a contrasting color here let's do the red all right so we have the red make sure you put it as evenly on the block as humanly possible and believe me that's easier said than done this is very tricky with this sticky paper all right, so we're going to do the double H. So I'm not cutting straight across and down. I'm going to do one, two, three, and inside. Because you cut this one in half earlier, all you have to do is follow where that cut line is on the other side, and there's the middle for that one. See what I mean? All right, this is where it's going to get a little more tricky. Here is the middle here, but you can't cut this because if you go straight through, you're going to cut through the tape because the tape is this way and you've got to cut this way. All right. So the best thing to do is to figure out where the cut is a different direction. So you need to cut here straight across two blocks. The easiest way to do that is open this up to see where the center is because you need to cut half a line here and half a line here. So you cut it open and you only go through one set of blocks. Where's the metal? There we go. You only go through one set of blocks and you can kind of feel where that other set is. Turn it around. Get in there and only go to the See, there's my cut. And I may have to adjust that a little further. I didn't want to do an overcut. I can feel where the blocks are here with my... Oh. Google, turn off alarm, please. Hey, Google, turn off alarm. Sorry. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video right where I am so we don't mess this up. And then I will do part two. Okay, we're back, and this is the second part to the first video on how to cut the paper on the flippin' photo block. I have to do that because of download time. Alrighty, so I've already cut the center and made a cut right here to here, and I didn't go all the way because I'm not sure where the other cuts go this direction. I'm not, not sure exactly where the block is. So I just felt it with my fingernail and I got lucky. <laughs> and don't rake it through the uh, don't rake it through here because what you're going to do is you're going to cut your paper and you don't want to do that because there might be tape under there and you don't want to cut the tape. So on this side, I opened it up and I did I did cut to where the block was, so that one's fine. Now I'm going to go, let's see, and I need to do this one. Where's my other? There, I can feel it with my fingernail where the indentation is for the other set of blocks. And because this one is a little easier, I can feel it better. I'm going to stick my knife. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should try. There we go. I think that's it right there. And then go down. I had to really poke it with my fingernail to find it. And then you probably just go to the end and lift up because you don't want to mess it up. So this should open up like that so that you have two separate things and make sure you mash down on your paper so it stays on the blocks. 
All right, let me get back to where I was. All right, so remember this was the H cut. So I cut here, 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 and then two blocks in the middle. It's a little tricky. And after you cut the tape like 10,000 times, then it'll dawn on you to use your fingernail to kind of crease it a little bit. <laughs> All right, so you're looking for other places that need to be cut. And right now I'm just gonna do the four papers, the two by fours. So you're looking for another set like this to cut only because you the two by four, two by four papers, the large papers, there's two cuts like this and two cuts like this. So those are the two configurations you need to look for. All right, so there's this. Let's do the green one on this because it'll contrast with the red nicely. So this is this cut here. Remember, you cannot cut through the tape. You only go through here and here. And I think the reason I keep repeating it is because I'm trying to remind myself, not you guys. <laughs> you think my paper is a little wonky, but we do the best we can. All right, so like I said, it gets more tricky the more paper you put on it. But luckily, this is here, and I'm doing this so I can see on the end where the center is. And you just drag your knife through here. Let me do the other side. Put it in the crease and drag it this way so that you can meet the other one down the middle. And I am going to go ahead, because it is sticky paper, and um, take off, let me put this back down a little bit, take off two more blades because they're very sticky and it'll, it catches, whoops, it catches on the paper and it makes it really difficult to cut through the blades. I mean, cut through the paper when it's dragging because it's so sticky. All right, so now we have, whoops, now we have the middle cut. Now we need to do this way. So you have no way of really seeing it. So you can feel with your fingernail where the center is. And don't go all the way through the end because you will cut the paper on the other side. So kind of drag it and out. So this should work. So now you are looking for another configuration like this because you're looking for the last one of these. So this is your last large piece. All right, so well, let me move this so I don't get crazy. All right, let me put this on here and rub it down. I think I've got it a little off. Hang on one second. 